What's up, YouTube? This your boy OJ the Eight Man, and today I'm gonna show y'all my 2012 Charger RT, but I scat swapped it. Yes, I put the 392 in it. My car been going for a long, long time, man. I'm gonna show y'all the process, the videos my mechanic sent me, uh, the pictures, everything I went through. I'm gonna show y'all, man. And I'm gonna give y'all some videos of me driving it, you know? The first time me seeing my car again after a few months, I had to handle some business, you know? But now I got my car back, and it's time for me to show y'all the process and give y'all this content, man. Stay tuned. Yeah, so when y'all see this car again, she will have that 392 in it. We got it on there. And this was the last day I seen my car, man. The last day. He sent me pictures where he scripted the car out. As you can see, the seats gone, the engine gone, transmission gone. He sent me videos also. And as y'all can see, I got the Challenger inside of my 2012 Scat Swap Charger. Hey, what's up, Say what's up. What's up? Here she go. What's up, YouTube? I know I'm late, you know. This is not the day of me getting my car back, man. I was so excited, you know, that I didn't even record, you know. The power difference was coming from a 5.7 to, you know, having a 6.4 in it, man. It's unbelievable, you know. But today, um, I'm going to go get my mid mufflers cut off. My resonator's already gone with the exhaust setup that he put on the car. But I'm finna go head to Pro Mufflers. And I'll give y'all a video, you know, of how it sounds when I get done, you know. All right, I'll be back. I ain't gonna lie though, I got bored, so I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit, man, about what's going on. I'm gonna let this song up, man. Just dropped my kids off to school. But you know, I got a 2012 Charger RT Max. Uh, I got the car, it had 121,000 miles on it. You know, it ran pretty good for a little while. You know, it ran its course. So one day I was driving the car, just on the highway, I was on the phone and I'm just driving and I feel like my gas pedal, well I felt it, my gas pedal just like, it lost power. And like the car slowed down, the steering wheel tightened up, I eased onto the side of the road. And I'm thinking to myself, man, what the hell is going on? You know, what the fuck going on? So I'm sitting there to the edge of the road, you know, trying to crank it up, crank it up. Motherfucker would not crank up. I'm like, man, what the hell is going on? So I had to, you know, get my car towed, you know, took it to a local mechanic, you know. And uh, he told me the timing chain had done broke. So when the timing chain broke, it messed up some of the pistons, you know. So we replaced the timing chain and the pistons that was messed up, the rods, you know. I got the car back. Ma'am, the first day I got the car back, drove it at least 25 to 35 minutes because for the location I stayed, if you from the area, you know, from Waynesboro to Augusta, but yeah, damn car ran hot. He forgot to burp the cooling system. So that was another problem. Blew a head gas, got to take it back to him and he replaced the head gasket because that was on him got the car man car ran fine like while i'm driving it you know but coming to a light man the car just get the twerking you know motherfucker shaking then i engine light would be on 
And what was crazy is when I take my OB2 scanner and clear the engine code, the car run perfectly fine. Like it's basically was putting a band-aid over the problem. But when I leave the engine light up there, the car just, you know, shaking that ass, you know, just twerking. The engine about to jump out the goddamn from up under the hood. So man, then driving it, the transmission started going out. I, I just like bump it, man, bump it, man. I'm sick of this car, I don't know what to do, you know. So I was on Facebook scrolling, ran across a guy that had the scat pad engine for sale. And I told him, I was like, you know, I was like, oh, I'll buy it, but I don't know nobody that to put it in. You know, he was like, let me run the numbers and he can put it in. At the point of time, dude had a Hellcat engine also, man. I wish, I ain't gonna say that cause you know, I love my little scat bill, you know. But I, I would've went Hellcat, you know, if I had the funds, you know. I got two kids, you know, a household to take care of, so, you know, the price range was up there, you know, it was up there. So, maybe with this YouTube thing one day, I might, you know, build me one. You know, we're gonna see how this go. You know, I gotta hustle, stack my paper, you know. But anyway, it took him maybe two months, maybe two months, cause he was working on it on and off, cause I had to stack up the money. And I don't know if I should tell y'all what I paid because motherfuckers be, you know, judging. But I don't think I paid a lot, you know. I don't think I paid a lot. But anyway, I be wishing I went Hellcat. When I go to little car meets and show people my bill, they be hating. Be like, oh, why you didn't put a Hellcat in it? Well, bitch, you driving a Honda. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. But long as you love your bill, you know. Fuck them. But anyway, man, I got a homeboy, S197 Ken. He has a red Mustang, man. Run good. Got a got a lot of work done to it, man. Sound good as hell, man. You'll be seeing it on the channel. I got another homeboy named Dre. He has a, a Hellcat. It's yellow and black. But he recently just wrapped it, you know. Man, we was cutting up the other night downtown Augusta, man. I was like, man, I got to go get my exhaust did or something cause you behind me your car doing all that hollering you know mine's only hollering once I get on the gas you know but that's what we here to do today man mid month little delete now I'll let you guys hear that sound I want to put the 5 inch tips on it but I ain't going to do the 5 inch tips until I change my diffuser but things I want to do to the car talk to the guy that you know that did my bill for me and everything and I want to do headers, a tune, and put a cam in it, you know. And he gave me the number on that. So that's my next thing I'm going to do. So I'm stacking up, you know, saving my money to do that. So I could be sliding, you know what I'm saying? I'm already sliding, but, you know, man, who, who don't want to hear that marching band? Who don't want to hear that marching band when you crank this thing up, man? Got to have it sounding like an old school. But, yeah, man, that's where we at today. Just drop the kids off, man, and I'll be back. Here at the exhaust shop, man. Glass broke. Name of the shop I'm at is Pro Muffler. But yeah, man, I shouldn't be in here long. I'll come back and let you guys see what it sound like. Like I say, the resonators was already gone. The mid mufflers was just the only thing still on the car. Now, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear it, but I might have to do a, a sound test for y'all later, but I'm gonna crank it up. I had to come to the gas station. Shifters, man, I'd rather just pull that motherfucker back in. Yeah? 
switch that bit, you know what I'm saying? Well, that was the end of my video, man. I'm back home. Kids getting off the bus. Hey, kids getting off the bus, man. Y'all like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Your more content coming up. I promise you, man. More content coming up.